Changdeokgung Palace is the second palace of Joseon Dynasty. Even though it's the second one, after Japanese invasion in 16th century, when all the palaces get destroyed, King of Joseon decided to rebuild the Changdeokgung while neglecting the Gyeongbokgung Palace. Because Changdeokgung is truly beloved palace by King for its comfort and harmony with the nature. Changdeokgung is located between mountain and royal shrine. So it has limited space, but planner of the palace built it without destroying natural site. Secret garden, which occupies sixty percent of the palace, also boasting beautiful scenery every season. Let's start the tour. Donhwamun, main gate of the palace, is the oldest palace gate in Seoul. These trees symbolize three prime ministers of Joseon dynasty. This bridge is the oldest bridge in Seoul. It built in 15th century. There is holy animal statues at each corner, Toto and unicorn at each side, and the goblin face. All is for driving away the bad spirits. Now we entering Jinsonmun. If you see from the left side, you will notice this front yard is not complete straight, but left side is tilted inward. It's designed to not to destroy the mountain nearby. Isn't it great idea like this? It was very bold decision because King asked to make it straight, and because of this, the planner of the palace got punished very bad. But he returned to work after only one month because he was the best and king still needed him. And in front of this gate in Jongmun, the coronation ceremony was held. Eight kings had mounted the throne at here. In Jongjon, the main building. At here you will see the changes of early 19th century. The flowers on the ridge of a roof it's a flower of plum, a symbol of royal family name, which is Li. It was Japanese intention that downgrading the king's authority to just uh, one's family. The floor is quite neat here, unlike the one in Gyeongbokgung. It's because a Japanese colonial era, they took away the original floor and plant the grass here as a meaning of the tomb, implying Joseon dynasty is already dead. When King Gojong felt threatened of losing country Joseon, he proclaimed that Joseon is empire, not dynasty anymore. That's why the door curtain is yellow color, which symbolizes the empire. And chandelier, glass window, curtain, the floor inside are influenced by Western culture. And if you look back to the south, you will see the Seoul Tower. Is king's office, Sonjongjeon. Among all the palace, is the only blue color roof tile. And also used to enshrine ancestral tablet. When king or queen die, this corridor with the roof is the proof of that. Hee Jongdang, you have to walk to the behind to see inside. It used to be the king's sleeping room but the interior was changed at colonial era. Dae Jo Jeon, Queen's sleeping room. The right side room was for the king and the left side was for the queen. If you go behind the building, you will see the terrace garden and the door that used to take out king's toilet bowl and furnace before we move let's see this building it's part of the queen's room 
And one tragedy for Korean happened here, which is Japanese annexation to Korea in 1910. When pro-Japanese group was giving pressure to the king to sign the treaty, Queen Sun Jung Wang Woo was hiding in the room and she popped out to snatch the royal seal and she put under her skirt the royal shield so king cannot sign the treaty. But her uncle, also the Japanese collaborator, took it away and at the end, treaty was signed. This is the buildings for prince, where prince study, discuss with scholars. This empty lot also was the residence of prince. The building there is library of prince. Now, finally, the last destination of Changdeokgung. This is Nakseonje. This building is not painted with colors. It looks more natural and frugal. But it has really amazing details. Fire barrier is designed like broken ice. The door and window of the room is so artistic. Just like a beautiful design, the story of this building is also very interesting. King Honjong was in love with one concubine, so he built this place to spend time with her. Nakseonje was for King Honjong, Sokbokhon was for concubine, and Sugangje was for grand queen. Records says King Honjong was really handsome. So who knows, maybe these two lived like a K-drama in real back that time. Sadly, Honjong died when he was 23. More importantly, it's the place where you can feel the last trace of Joseon dynasty. Because the last princess, the last prince and his wife came back to Korea at 1960s from Japan and lived here until they died. Also, remember the queen who snatched away royal seal to interrupt the moment of treaty that losing the country? Queen Sun Jung Wang Hu, the last queen of Joseon, also lived here. So from here, you can see every building. That's the main building and blue color roof tile, king's office. This is king and queen's living quarters. That's building for prince. So every building is side by side. And there is Nak Sonje. While Gyeongbokgung is used for less than 250 years, Changdeokgung was used for 500 years for the kings. So in history, he was the actual main palace. This palace is highly recommended for someone truly enjoy the nature and history and less crowded. Hope you can visit here one day. Thank you for watching my video.